good afternoon and jai hind my dear children welcome to my virtual class today i'll be taking up a topic from your grammar section and the topic is tenses tenses is not at all a difficult topic because you have been doing it from your junior classes and in class 10th we'll be just revising the tenses now what is verb children what is verb verb is the doing word and what is tense tense is the time of doing word right verb is doing word and tense defines the time of the doing word the verb hmm so tense now this time is categorized in three ways first when we do the work now at present it is present tense when we have already done before or in the past is the past tense and what we will be doing in the future that is tomorrow that is future tense so the time is categorized in three divisions that is in three kinds that is the present the past and the future so not wasting much of your time i'll be switching over to the pdf which i have prepared so please join with me so you can see class 10 tenses by tulika patel now in english grammar verbs are often used i have used very simple languages language to make you people understand in english grammar verbs are often used in a way that it indicates or denotes the time verb what is verb the doing word okay when an event is occurred if it is occurred in the present it is present tense if it is occurred in the past it is past tense if it is occur it will be occurring in the future that would be future tense these verbs that take up different forms to indicate the time of an action event or condition by changing its form are called tenses so these verbs now what are the examples of verbs go write sit sing teach learn okay when these verbs that take up different forms what are the forms children he learns he is learning he has learned so these are the forms these verbs that take up different forms to indicate the time of action the time of action is tense agreed or event or condition by changing its form are called tenses so first is the present tense then the past tense and then the future tense i have told you i have explained it a verb that refers to the present time is said to be in the present tense the verb that refers to the present time now this is present tense a verb that refers to the past time is said to be past tense this is what i have told you a verb that talks about the future time is said to be in the future tense now each tense in turn is divided into 
four more types. What are they? They are the simple or we call it as indefinite also, continuous, perfect and the perfect continuous. Now we will be knowing more about this divisions of tenses, this forms of tenses, right? This forms of tenses, this types of tenses. So in totality, there are 12 tenses in English. Hence, in present tense, there are four forms. Simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, present perfect continuous tense. But I tell you children, this you have in all the tenses. In past tense also you have simple past tense, past continuous tense, past perfect tense, past perfect continuous tense. In future tense also you have four forms. What are they? The simple future or the uh, indefinite future tense. Uh, future continuous, future uh, con uh, perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense which we don't use much. Similarly, in the past tense, simple past tense, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous tense. In future tense, <coughs> the, what are the four forms? Simple future tense, future continuous tense, future perfect tense, future perfect continuous tense. Now children, we have always uh, learnt verb more clearly by the tab, the chart. Now I want this table in your B notebooks. I've done it in class 9th also. Then again, I'm repeating this chart would help you to get a very clear picture. Whenever you feel confused, just flip the page, come to this um, uh, uh, table and if you revise it once, if you understand today and you re revise it several times in future, you would have no confusion in tenses. This is very important. I prepared two tables. And I want both the tables to be in your B notebooks. Now simple. Past, I ate pizza yesterday. So you're, you are all having watering mouth, hearing about pizza? Yes, I ate pizza yesterday. So what is the sentence structure here? Subject plus root verb plus object or verb in its first form. Subject plus root verb plus object. Then the pre what is the continuous form? I was eating pizza when you arrived. So was eating the action had started at a point of time, but it is continuing till or it continued for some time in the past. So it is past continuous. I was eating pizza. So what is the form here? The subject plus auxiliary verb in the past form that is was or were plus root verb plus ing plus object. Clear? Any confusion? Now, I had eaten all of the pizza when you arrived. I had eaten, I had eaten, I had. The action started at a point of time. It must have continued and it has ended. The Action has ended. Okay. So, what do I say here? Has, uh, had plus third form of verb. Third form of root verb. Or the participle form of the 
rude verb what is it eat ate eaten isn't it the third form of rude verb so i had eaten all of the pizza when you arrived so subject plus had plus verb 3 plus object perfect continuous i had been eating pizza for 2 hours when you arrived i had been eating pizza for 2 hours when you arrived perfect continuous so subject plus had been b w e n plus verb root verb plus ing plus object right now we come to the present tense the present tense i eat pizza every day this shows a regular action a regular action an universal action an action in practice all right i eat pizza every day so subject plus root verb in the first form eat and object and if it would if it i is replaced by ram ram eat what it would be ram is singular so the verb act singularly putting s or es ram eats pizza every day a habitual action ram eats pizza every day so subject plus root verb in first form plus object now i am eating pizza right now continuous tense i am eating pizza right now the action is has started but is continued in the present right so what is the sentence structure the subject plus am is are ekdam learn kar lo beta am is are plus root verb and ing plus object then the perfect tense i have eaten all of the pizza so what do you do the subject plus has have plus the third form of root verb plus the object so eat ate eaten so i have eaten all of the pizza i have eaten all of of the pizza now the perfect continuous i have been eaten now the rules are perfect and the continuous so has have from there and the continuous is auxiliary plus ing isn't it so I have been B W E N eating pizza for twelve or for two hours. So subject plus has have been plus V I N G plus O. O means the object has have been B W E N. Now we come to the. future tense i will eat pizza tomorrow so the action will occur in future i will eat pizza tomorrow so what is the sentence structure subject plus will or shall okay here it is will plus verb plus verb in its first form that is the root verb plus the object plus the object then the second is the continuous i 
will be eating pizza when you arrive. I will be eating pizza when you arrive. So this is some action which would be happening. That is it would start at a point of time in future and it would be continued for some time in future. So it is future continuous. I will be eating pizza when you arrive. So subject plus will be plus root verb ing plus object. Now, the per perfect tense. The action started and it has ended. Its action will start and it would end in future. So, I will have eaten all of the pizza by the time you arrive. I will have eaten all of the pizza by the time you arrive. So subject plus will have plus root verb in third form plus object. So subject is I will have is the perfect form plus eaten that is the third form will have eaten is the perfect form of uh, tense all of the pizza by the time you arrive so this is future perfect tense now i will have been eating pizza for two hours when you arrive we uh, generally do not use perfect continuous I will have been eating pizza for two hours when you arrive. So what the 12 verb tense can be used for? Now we will learn the usages. Now past, simple past. To indicate the past habit. When I was teaching you, I was explaining this. But here I have made this table and I have written also. And both the tables should be there in your B notebooks. To indicate a past habit or an action already completed. Can be used with or without adverb of time. Can be used with or without adverb of time. Now what is happening in the case of present tense? I eat pizza every day. This was our sentence, isn't it? So, the simple present, what is happening? To express the habit or general truth. Universal truth, I told you, remember? To indicate a future event or a designated date as a part of a plan or arrangement. With mental action. Verbs like love, want, need, believe, etc. Now, the simple future. I will eat pizza tomorrow. So, to indicate an action, coordination or circumstance which hasn't taken place yet. It would happen in the future. Now, in continuous, past continuous, I was eating pizza when you were right. To indicate uncompleted action of the past with or without time reference okay to indicate persistent habits of the past with always continuously forever now i am eating pizza right now to indicate the action going on at the time of speaking to indicate temporary action which may not be happening at the time of speaking. With an habitual action verb, specially to indicate a stubborn habit. 
Now, I will be eating pizza when you arrive to indicate what will be going on at the same time at the same time in future to indicate planned future events. Now the perfect. I had written. This is past perfect. I had eaten all of the all of the pizza when you arrived to indicate a completed action of the past that happened before another event took place. Now in present, I have eaten all of the pizza. So to indicate past action which is not defined by the time of occurrence. To indicate an action which started in the past and has continued up until now. I will have eaten all of the pizza by the time you arrive. To indicate an action that will be complete before another event takes place. Now perfect continuous. I had been eating pizza for two hours when you arrived. To indicate an action in the past. I have been eating pizza for two hours in present. So to indicate an action which is happening in the present. I will have been eating pizza for two hours when you arrive. This to indicate an action that will have or which 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 happen in future. So children, this was a quick revision of the tenses which we have been learning from our junior classes, even in class 9, very well we have done. So this is all explained. This was just a quick revision of tenses. I'll be sharing the PDF where you would be having the worksheets. Please, you would be doing your worksheets. You will be mentioning this to table in your B notebooks. And in the worksheets, you have to Solve it, write the answers, write the marks you have obtained in a circle, right? And then I'll be sharing the PDF of your answers, answers of the worksheet which I'll be giving today. Okay, so stay at home, stay safe, keep on studying, keep on studying because that is the only way which can give you all success in life. Thank you. Jai Hind.